Okay, so the new Lieutenant Morales doesn't have a mana pool. Instead, she has an energy pool with 100 energy. The energy will depreciate for 6 seconds, 6 per seconds while you channel. And while you channel your healing, you do not regenerate it. When, once you stop for 3 seconds, you gain it back at the same rate. Here we go. Greetings, friend. And it doesn't cost energy if the target isn't damaged. Keeping in line with the original mana usage of it. And this is the icon to signify when it comes back. Okay, so that's pretty clear. Uh, w and E are purely cooldown based, both on the 12 second cooldown. Safeguard is still 25 armor for 3 seconds. And grenade looks as follows. You get more clarity over how big the explosion radius is, which right makes away. it a lot easier to actually use. Very nice quality of life improvement. First blood. That's a really, really good change. Love it. Now, she also has a grenade talent at level 1. Hit heroes with displacement grenade. <coughs> After you hit 15, reduce the cooldown to 8 seconds. That's 4 off. And after you hit 30, you increase the detonation area of displacement grenade. Now it's this big. Now it's this big. Pretty sweet. Life support. Generate 2 energy each time safeguard reduces a tick of damage. Up to a maximum of 20 energy per use. That's pretty cool. For the emergency. Basic attacks generate 4 energy against heroes and 1 against non-heroes. Right eh? Oh, I have the cooldown thing on. I like that. It stimulates uh, a little bit the necessity for Morales to auto attack, making it not just about whether she adds that little bit of damage, which by the way does help, it does matter, but it's not key usually, and it actually ties in directly with her supportive capacities. Nice change. Well, let's go to level 20 and look at the rest. Choose a talent. Choose a Consume 30 energy to heal Lieutenant Morales for 40% of her max health over 4 seconds. During this time, Caduceus Reactor is disabled. While channeling Healing Beam... Oh, this is new as well! While channeling Healing Beam, Morales regenerates 2% of max health per second. So it's no longer an out of combat heal. It's very much tied to healing people that heals yourself. So there's the couples therapy Greetings, pretty much friend. embedded in her base kit. Is well. Very much so, Noisy. Thank you very much. And thank you for the 26 months reset. Taking damage while below 40% health grants 30 armor for 3 seconds. So this is the new trauma trigger. And it's on a 1 minute cooldown. No Blast shield. Heroes hit by displacement grenade generate 2 energy. And grant Morales a shield equal to 8% of her max health, stacking up to, fi uh, up to uh, 5 times. So she can get up to 40% max health shield, up to 10 energy. 269. Cool. Wait a minute, this shield doesn't go away. You don't have to hit five at the same time. That is very nice. The only thing I'm missing really is a kind of counter of how many stacks you have. But I guess in theory she is not. It doesn't really matter because you see the size of your shield. And because yes you can have five full shields. But it may also be four and a half or 3.91 how do you show that with a one to five 
stack counter. So I guess that kind of makes sense. It's no different really than Kerrigan's shield. So I think that's well done. Moving on. Very cool talent by the way. Uh, and we'll turn off cooldown Not removal wait. again. Safeguard removes all slows from its target. So it's a version of cleanse. And when a slow is removed this way, your safeguard is on an 8 second instead of a 12 second cooldown. Alright. Only removing slows, kind of cool. Doesn't sound very amazing, to be honest. Does he ever cast Drunken Haze? And this is on any target, so that also counts on minions, strangely enough. Vanadium plating. Vanadium? Vanadium. Probably vanadium. Just relax. While an ally affected by safeguard is stunned, grant an additional 25 armor. Wait, and its duration is paused. Wow! Okay! So it adds the same amount of armor time as the stun's duration. If a target is stunned for 5 seconds straight, safeguard lasts for 5 plus 3, 8 seconds. With a 50% armor. Interesting. Huh. Paused. First time I see that mechanic. Really nice stun lock counter. That one seems infinite better than physical therapy. The good thing is, sometimes there's games without stuns. And then you have talent diversity. But if you, there are both stuns and slows, for sure you're going to be taking vanadium plating. Prolonged safeguard. Simply 50% longer. Four and a half seconds on the base kit. I'm liking vanadium plating. Choose a talent. No time to Moving on. Stim drone. Pretty much as it was. Medivac. Pretty much as it was. Choose a talent. We all know Medivac, right? No. There is this funny thing. I don't know if I can replicate it. So how does it work? Get him, Ava. Acceptable. A killing blow. Or did they remove it already? Hold right click. Mm. Oh. Sounds serious. Medivac HP got lowered around half, and Stim Drone is casting around half a second instead of one. Oh, okay. And Medivac can fly after two seconds instead of four. Oh yeah. Don't click to the spot you're going to. Ah. Huh? It doesn't work. Wait, where did I go? <laughs> I saw me disappear on the minimap. <laughs> what the heck? Of course, this bug is going to get fixed. There's no way this will make it into live server. We're just, uh, we just want to experience this once upon a time. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Mouth, come on! I'll take care of it. There we go. 
Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I, I think this would be quite nice, actually, if it worked like this. Well done. Hmm, I didn't know you could stay here as well. <laughs> Alright. So, go on with the rest of Choose the talents. A talent. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Choose EMP a talent. grenade. Displacement grenade deals an additional 88 damage over 2 seconds and up to 877 bonus damage to shields. System shock? Heroes hit by displacement grenade deals 30% less damage, so it's a shrink grenade. Second opinion, hitting 2 or more heroes with displacement grenade reduces its cooldown to 1 second. Hmm. Sounds serious. Wow. What? That's amazing. Choose a talent. Wait, l let me get uh, completely on board with the uh, choose a talent. grenade quest then. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. And then, of course, not the cooldown reduction. Wow. And you get shields from it. And then, uh, what, what else? Safeguard second charge. While above 70 energy, healing beam healing is increased by 25%. Extended care. Increase the range of healing beam by 40%. That's pretty nice for those darn illidents in quick match that just don't know that your abilities actually have a range. Hyperactivity. Reduce the cooldown of Stim Drone from 90 to 45 seconds and also increase the movement speed bonus from 25 to 50 percent wow Here you go, soldier. go i'll take care of it mm. ah that's how the range works the healing beam range has increased but the acquiring is still at the original range. Oh, that's really cool. And then finally level 20, besides hyperactivity, activate to call down a medivac dropship, dropship, dropship at your altar for your allies. After 10 seconds, or when the ability is activated again, the medivac will travel to the original cast location Oh my god, that's awesome! Cooldown is shared with Medivac dropship. And also, the oh, it's also only 30 seconds. I thank you. It's hard to explain puns to a maniac because they always take things literally. <laughs> Very nice. So, I can't get in my own. For your allies. Seems like I cannot get in. What? Anyway. Uh, increase the healing provided by Caduceus Reactor from 2 to 6%. Oh, now there's 2.0. Now it makes sense because we have a 1.0. And finally, after exiting Medivac, allies are protected from all damage for 2 seconds. It's not to a position, it's always a medic. Oh. 
The medevac will travel to the original cast location. Ah, so it doesn't matter where I aim. Ah, okay. Thank you for explaining. Oh, I see, I see. Cool. For the emergency. On a 30 second cooldown. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, that also means that it has infinity range. Unlike medevac itself. So you can go all the way across the map on Warhead Junction from core to core. Cool. So this patch brings two new versions of Protected. Leoric and Morales. Do you know why leather armor is the best for sneaking? Because it's made out of hide. Ha ha. <laughs> The new Leoric has three different auto attacks. Well, two different ones. He will auto attack twice in the manner, in a certain manner, and then he will have a third special attack. Very nice. Splash, splash, double on one target. Okay, so that's the new Leoric auto attack. Very cool. His Q is now on a 14 second cooldown, which is much longer. Fealty has been moved to level 1. So has Osain Renewal from level 4, from level 7, from level 16. All the survivability at level 1. When we look at the uh, other talents. We'll quickly breeze through his kit Choose as we are looking to play with Kel'Thuzad a little bit more. Choose a talent. Ghastly Reach is now at 4 instead of 7, so is Paralyzing Rage. And it increases the slow by 20%. Instead of saying now it's 60, still the same, still going from 40 to 60. Just listed differently. Greetings, and again, brought forwards. New Peasants, Always more damage to Minions and Mercs. Choose a talent. Very strong talent, great for wave clear. And then level 7, the W1. Willing Vessel moved from 4 to 7. Drain Momentum from 13 to 7. And also, you gain the movement Choose speed, the I believe, afterwards. 100%, 100%, 100%. And the mount speed for about 4 seconds. The other one is Drain Hope Range. Moved from level 1 to I level 7. Uh, Entomb is still Entomb, but it has been increased in cooldown. Going from 50 to now 75, March of the Black King has 12% uh, lifesteal instead of 7% lifesteal. And it's on a 50 second cooldown. Choose a talent. With more damage too, I believe. Uh, Entomb is also... Where's my music, by the way? It's gone. I don't know why. Uh, and Tomb also has a new Choose level a 10 upgrade. A, a level 20 upgrade. We'll get to that in a second. Unyielding Despair has been moved from 16 the to 13. With a bit of, the a bit of changes. Hardened Bones moved from 4 to 13. 20 armor while Drain Hope is active. And if you do the full duration, you keep that bonus. Ominous Wraith. Wraithwalk. This is kind of like what Lingering uh, Apparition was. You get a longer duration of Wraithwalk. And also, enemies that come into contact with the Wraith do 50% less damage. Pretty interesting. And that's for 4 seconds. Kind of a Shrink Ghost. We have the Shrink Owl, we have Shrink Ray, and now we have a Shrink Ghost. Finally, Royal Focus is now at 16 which does more damage on the swing after Wraithwalk and also CDR of yes. Wraithwalk by every swing hit. Normally it's 14. If you hit 2, instant reset. Kind of cool. Crushing Hope moved from 13 to 16. 15% max health damage. Very strong. Mithril Mace increased Leoric's attack speed by 20%, so it goes from 0.77 to 0.92. No and also... Nearby enemy minion deaths grant bonus attack speed. And so do takedowns. Up to 30%. Pretty cool. And finally, Spectral Leech. 5% lifesteal and 2.5% damage. And Tube now has a cooldown reduction. 
are a, a duration reduction, but they are also silenced and Cowboy will take damage. Uh, Death March is still the same. Spectral Leech has less damage, like I said. No longer 5-5, five, five, but 2.5-5. Burning Despair. Deal damage to nearby enemies during Drain Hope. The damage in area increased, is increased by 100%. Oh, okay. So you yes. always have a lot of Burning Rage. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Oh, that's beautiful. Very nice. You always have a lot of Burning Rage. And it's even more while you're draining people's hope. And then finally, Shroud of the Dead King. Protect it for three seconds on a 75 second cooldown. Your Death March is not is the magic. same. Oh yes. Why did I say that? The final swing of Black of the, Mar Black of the March King also applies to... Oh, okay. So it's the final swing. I see, I see. Oh, and it's with talent, not untalented. Wow. Let us Very cool. Very cool. Oh, that's huge. Everyone getting the the 15% uh, lifesteal. Wow. Cool. The new Leoric, ladies and gents. We will, shall be trying him out momentarily. Oh, wow. <laughs> Double kill. Nice devouring all. Oops. Triple kill. Oh, so big 